Hello, my name is Walter and welcome to a Black Panther teaser trailer that dropped three days ago. Yes, I'm very late to these, but uh, you know, I'm working alone. I am only one person. Uh, so yeah, I have to rely on other media and sometimes, you know, other media hypes it up. So I kind of leave it out and I don't really watch it unless I'm like, okay, I feel, I feel like it. So yeah, I felt like it today. So um, yeah. I have very limited knowledge about Black Panther, uh, maybe when the next trailer drops I will do a reaction with my other friend uh, who you've seen a couple of times here uh, where we talked about Thor Ragnarok and um, uh, Justice League. Okay, so uh, from what I saw in uh, Captain America uh, Civil War um, Black Panther seems to be pretty good. I think that uh, he's pretty interesting and I hope that um, it continues in the Marvel way that I, I've seen throughout. Well, not throughout. I think the most impressed I was with, was with um, Marvel's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Uh, so yeah, uh, without further ado, let's go. Okay. Is that... I, I know these guys. Uh, they're so familiar. They're on the tip of my tongue, but I can't, I can't get it out. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Well, okay, it's uh, definitely, yeah, it's, it's coming soon, and uh, it is uh, 2018, I believe. Uh, the reason you saw me cringe at the last five minutes or the last two minutes, whatever, was because, you know, I was looking at the CGI and I was going, okay, it is good, it's good, and then um, when he landed on the car, I'm like, oh my god, I, I definitely noticed that. I'm like, yeah, that, 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 that was definitely noticeable, but... You know what, I think that uh, this this movie seems to be very on the path of like Marvel's universe. Obviously it's a universe now. It's a universe story, Def that therefore you definitely need some of the brands in there that you definitely notice. Uh, but I definitely notice a lot more in this one because there's the, um, there's the whole like courtroom thingy, you know, this ring where they're all talking and then it's mostly it's mostly um from Thor I remember uh even even in um even in uh, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy I was like yeah that that's that's from Asgard those designs for the um, the, the whole golden race people I forget their names I'm so sorry um and I didn't see much from this trailer. I mean, there were some stuff, obviously, you know, the visuals and all of that. But a teaser trailer is supposed to get you hyped up, and all I'm seeing here is 
the most things I've seen from other Marvel movies and that's not something bad you know and that's not something good either it's just more of well if you've seen this ten times you're not gonna want to see it again and I think my biggest gripe for uh, Civil War was the shaky cam and I hope that they, they get rid of that in this one and they just focus on sharp action because I like the sharp action that was in this I was like yeah okay I, I'm, I'm in that but again I, I just hope that there's not too much of the action sequences going by I just hope that they keep the story focused and the reason why I couldn't praise Wonder Woman as much as everyone did was because I I watched too many trailers and I hope for Marvel they don't they don't drop too many trailers and I think that was one of the hindrances for Wonder Woman in itself and of course some fans as I pointed out in the review uh, would be you know saying to themselves well you know we didn't get we didn't get um we didn't get a Marvel movie before a DC movie because you know that's that's been the tradition you know because we've had a Civil War before uh, Batman v Superman and all of that as I said in the review um, but yeah I think there there's not much to hold me to this um, as I didn't grow up with the comic, I didn't grow up with Black Panther, uh, and I didn't grow up reading these type of stories. But the reason why the second Guardians of the Galaxy movie, and here's the thing, it stood well on its own as a movie. I did not need to know the first movie to watch this movie, and I think that there is sort of a disconnect between Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2 being that the story did not one story ended and then it's it's a it's a whole nother story already so there there's the problem uh for me for me at least but you know what the second movie was really good so i'm hoping i'm hoping better things for um marvel honestly and also dc i'm, I'm not i'm not in the I'm not in the act of choosing the size. I'm just like, you know what? Give me a good movie, and I'll, and I'll probably be really happy. Um, honestly, I'm not looking forward to these superhero movies anymore. Uh, mostly because I think that we've seen too much of them, and you know, there's been a saturation. There's been a saturation of you know superhero movies out there um, but you know occasionally I will forgive the oversaturation as long as it's like I'm like yeah okay there's there's enough good things for me to like I, I really really enjoyed that and for Wonder Woman it's, it was more of there's just enough good enough uh, to make it through for me so uh, yeah that, that that was about it um, I've very little to say about this because I I don't necessarily know like if it's going to be as big as Spider-Man is definitely gonna be because you know we've you know all the Marvel fans love super Spider-Man sorry oh shit almost said Superman <laughs> all the Marvel fans love Spider-Man and you know Spider-Man is very much the icon of Marvel uh, as well as uh, Captain America and Iron Man uh, and we've already had two iterations past iterations I hope this is the last one I pray to God I swear to God if they reboot again I'm just like you know what I'm done with Spider-Man I don't need to see it anymore bye bye <laughs> cause it's like there's nothing much to Spider-Man that you can bring and I think that while I have gripes about um, Stark making the suit for Spider-Man, you know, I'm just like, yeah, that's an angle you can take with Spider-Man. And now because it's kind of shared rights between Sony and Marvel, it's very much of the, yeah, okay, we need to find a m middle ground that works for everyone. So there's definitely going to be elements of that in the film that I think is going to be playing out in my head. Um, 
And also, I just, I just hope that they don't push Tony Stark on this kid, Tom Holland. I hope that he does get more of the same screen time. I hope that he figures things out on his own because the biggest gripe for me for Beauty and the Beast is that some of the added scenes make it seem like she didn't know how to you know decode it for herself meanwhile in the animation at the animated one she does figure things out on her own so I don't know that that's just my gripes and that's just my opinion so I, I don't know maybe if you guys enjoyed this trailer please leave a, leave a comment below tell me why I'm wrong or if you agree with me please tell me why I'm right and also please leave a like and obviously if you like this video please subscribe and hit that bell for future notifications of future videos that I will be dropping to you guys so that's about it guys and I will see you in the next video see you then